forward to achieving an ideal retirement and overcoming financial challenges. Psychology plays a huge role. 48 Sean Dowling spoke to financial expert Marshall Clay from the Welch Group to discuss overcoming these mental obstacles. Retiring comfortably is usually the goal, but it's not just your finances that need to be in a good state. You need to be in a good state of mind. I'm here with Marshall Clay from the Welch Group to talk all about the psychological challenges facing retirees. Marshall, good to see you. Hey, good to see you, Sean. What do people need to know? So I think it's counterintuitive, right? We go through life and it, it seems like our intent is, is to work to a point where we can fully relax, you know, sure. fully fully detach, and just sort of you know live our life in this peace and freedom. But yeah. I think it's weird because I think that people always need a goal. They always need a purpose. They always need something that's driving them. And I think that's the struggle that a lot of that a lot of retirees go through is that when they leave their job, they lose that that sense of purpose, right? They have yeah. customers that they get to stay involved with, coworkers. Um, they they have that sense of community because they're adding value through their through their work. And so replacing that purpose is very important to, to have a good psychological well being. And I told people, look, you know, jobs are more than just income. And I think most people appreciate that when they get to retirement. Uh, but you need to sort of plan early, like think through your retirement um, before you actually get there. Maybe write down a lot of those non-financial goals. Talk to people that are already in retirement about the, about the good things about retirement, the struggles that they're going through. Um, try to engage with people that are in similar circumstances so that you can kind of develop um, a, a plan to where you're able to replace that purpose that, that, that jobs um, give you. And I think I think a second aspect about this, a second challenge that I see um, above and beyond the replacing of the purpose is this transition from earning income, mm -hmm. you know, bringing in income, and then transitioning to full reliance on the portfolio that you've built. But I think pre-positioning the portfolio, maybe even, there's no black and white answer on this, but maybe even five years before you get to retirement, constructing the portfolio that you're gonna have in retirement so that you can see how that portfolio responds over the course of time before you actually get there, right? And it's like the port the portfolio is building your trust. Don't lose uh, the focus on the ultimate goal of, of that portfolio, and it's number one, which is pretty obvious, but never run out of money. Yeah. Um, but we want to have position in assets that give us some growth opportunities, give us an ability um, to keep up and stay ahead of inflation. The big takeaway is no plan is going to be perfect. I think sure. I think everybody goes through this transition period, um, and it's just really important to, to plan early. Excellent advice as always. Marshall Clay with the Welsh Group. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.